Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we're going to be talking about two different movies. One is a live-action version of a classic Disney cartoon. The other is another Liam Neeson action film. Sort of. Here are a couple of quick movie reviews for two films that you may want to consider, or maybe not consider checking out. First up is Cinderella. It's time to give credit where credit is due. For what it was, this was a decently entertaining and faithful adaptation of the original cartoon. It made changes that needed to be made and stayed faithful to what really mattered. They even explained, although in an extremely simple way, why Cinderella's family couldn't recognize her at the ball. Will I be giving any awards to this movie for its acting or effects? Uh, no. The acting most of the time is cheesy and the effects are mostly pretty bad, especially the CG animals. That being said, the story is still decent, the film is vibrant with its colors, and there aren't really any unnecessary changes. What is good is good, and what is evil is evil. The way these stories are, and the way they should stay. That's right, I'm talking to you, Maleficent. If Disney is going to adapt their animated features, Cinderella is a step in the right direction. Next up is Run All Night. One might think from the previews that this is just like Taken, but thankfully it's not. While this movie is pretty predictable and borrows some things from a few movies, Heat and Road to Perdition respectively, I was still pretty entertained. I like Liam Neeson's character in this because he was not the invincible tough guy this time around. He plays a washed-up, alcoholic mob hitter that gets plenty beat up in this story. Ed Harris is serviceable as the main villain of the film. They tried to make his character deeper than he came off, but the majority of the heart for the film belongs to Neeson and Joel Kinnaman's characters. If anything, this movie is about sins of the father affecting the life of his son. There are two uncredited characters played by J.K. Simmons and Nick Nolte. Simmons plays a sportscaster that's only on the television, and Nolte plays Neeson's father, which was kind of weird considering Neeson is only about a decade younger than Nolte. If you like Liam Neeson films, then you'll probably like this one too. And there you have it, Disney doing one of their classics a bit of justice and Liam Neeson in a more believable action drama. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.